I'm wondering if you work with a lot of runners and just kind of what you see as far as back issues go uh, and how you try to help them. Okay, so we definitely see a lot of runners and runners typically the injuries we see are overuse injuries. So mm -hmm. it's either they're running too, they're making gains too much too fast or they're not cross training and they're not working on, on their core and working on other things. So um, we either tell them that they need to slow down and, and take some rest, more rest days in between or we recommend that they cross train, start working on their core, working on their strength. Some runners, unfortunately, just focus on the running and they're not focusing on the rest of their body. So we put them on a regimen where they're working on strength of their legs, strength of their core and that kind of thing and it usually helps reduce their pain. Okay, and you know, I, I don't mean to just call out on all the runners out there. Uh, I imagine too, is it safe to say if you do the same thing all the time, that's also not a good idea? You're talking about kind of cross training and getting different activities in there. Let's let's talk about that as well, so yeah. we're not making the runners out there feel bad. Exactly, yeah, it, it happens in every sport. And actually, specifically, it happens in Florida because you can play your activity year round. There's Correct, no, yeah. you know, there's it's no true. winter. So, especially with children, you want to train um, you want to cross train. You want to play multiple sports. You want right. to do multiple activities because no matter the sport, if you do it enough, you will have an injury and you'll create an imbalance that will be hard to get rid of. So all of our athletes, we recommend that they, especially at a young age, they cross train and they just don't do the same thing over and over.